Hi, in today's session we're going to learn how to compute variables within SPSS. Specifically, the function we're going to look at today is the idea of computing composite variables by adding together uh, independent variables uh, to create a wider and um, larger uh, overall total variable. The example we're going to use today comes from the older grocery customer satisfaction data set. Uh, and there's two particular variables that we're going to look at. These are 12A and 12B, the number of people uh, who live in the household are under 16 years old, and the number of people who are over 16 years old who also live in the household. And what we want to do is add those two variables together to create a wider variable, which is total number of people in the household. So within the SPSS um, data set we've got, uh, we're really interested in two key variables, question 12A and question 12B here. And just to reiterate again, we're interested in uh, creating a composite variable, which will be called total uh, number of people in household, uh, which, like I said before, adds those two variables together. Okay, so the way we do this in um, SPSS is to use the transform command here at the top. Very simply, we take the option compute variable and the following screen opens up in front of us. Now the first thing we need to do is to create a new name for our um, the variable that we're going to create, what SPSS calls a target variable. Okay, so I'm just going to call this tote peep, uh, just to keep it um, short. <clears throat> what we then have to do is find our variables. Okay, so there we go. Um, it's good practice because what we're doing is obviously creating um, uh, an overall variable by adding two variables together and dividing them uh, to open up brackets. And we can just click our first variable question 12a in. Now what we're wanting to do here is to add a second variable. So we add the um, add button there and we move in our second variable question 12b. So at this stage now we're going to have added question 12a and question 12b together. If three people have said that they are and there's three people that are under 16 in the household and two people are over 16 we will have five total people in the household. We click OK and SPSS opens up and tells us that the demand or the command sorry has been executed. That's fantastic. We can get rid of that. And when we come down to the bottom here, see that this new variable total peak has been um, created. Now we just want to put a little note about what this is. Probably the better type total number of people living in the household. And just so we know where we got that from, as before, we can copy and paste our missing variables in there. Very easy, we can do that with any variable. Um, <clears throat> you can do lots of things within the compute, commute, compute the command, um, like creating average variables. So we might want to um, take a scale for, say, uh, satisfaction or loyalty, add them all together and divide them by three to create um, an overall score. So there are loads of things you can do, but that's just um, a simple introduction to how to use a commute, compute command.